Hey everybody, Tim here. If you can believe it, it's almost been three months since my last video upload. So what have I been up to all this time? Well, uh, I've been working a lot. I've been traveling a little bit for work. I went to Ecuador and the Galapagos with my family for some vacation. Um, I also got hurt a little bit. So I've been dealing with an elbow injury, a shoulder injury, and a neck injury all separately but um, those were not super fun and I had to cut back on my usual routine to play as much tennis. Speaking of tennis, on the tennis front, I went to Indian Wells again this year, which was a lot of fun. And I'm also in the middle of USTA 4.5 league season right now. So I actually recorded this video a couple months back. It was in February or March and I can't even exactly remember when it was. This match was against Raymond, who was a subscriber to my channel and had been following me for a little bit of time. So one of the things I experimented with in this video was including live commentary during the video. So kind of in-match analysis. So let me know what you guys think. And once again, if you guys like this content, please hit the subscribe button below. Dirty low, serve and volley. Terrible half volley, dead. Got away with it, got away with it again. Just lucky win that point. Let's go line. Wasn't trying to hit it that close. point from Raymond right here, good first serve, great first ball, puts me on defense, comes in, I feel like I have a chance at a pass here, but he cuts it off, jams me, close to the air. Alright, got a second serve here, gonna attack, in. didn't get enough of an angle on that, there's a put away, almost in my camera, there's some big forehands going on, good, slow down, there's another one. Got an opportunity to attack. Maybe comes back with another huge one. Just drop shot him. 1540, double break point right here. I want to attack the backhand, want to be aggressive. Okay, coming in. Maybe a little bit too much air. It's just a great passing shot. Okay, so Raymond fights his way back to deuce from 1540. And he just goes nuts here. He starts hitting all these crazy flat serves, flat forehands. And I'm just like, where the hell is this coming from? Holy crap. I can't do anything about that. We got 40-15 on serve right here, and I developed a pattern of going down the middle, so I thought I'd switch things up and go wide here. Worked out. So this point's interesting. I can tell Raymond's trying to switch things up. Moonball me a little bit, give a little bit more air to his shots. It doesn't really bother me, and I decided I've had enough of it. I'm gonna come in. Didn't get enough cut on the volley, just missed it a little bit.
So this game, serving down 2-5, Raymond goes back to hitting big again, really flat serves, really aggressive forehands. And I think overall it's just a really great game by hand. Take a watch. Okay, so we're at 40-15, double set point. Decide to switch it up, serving volley. Tough turn, but I'm able to handle it through the way. Okay, so we're now in the second set. In between the first and second sets, I think it's always good to reflect on what went well, what didn't go so well, and what you guys do differently in the second set. And I think I realized that the points where Raymond had to move forward a lot, he didn't move quite as smoothly. He moved side to side super well, but probably not quite as well front to back. So I decided to just move him that way a little bit more. So this is a pretty crazy long point here. I'm defending for most of the point early on, but I'm able to rest control back and then get Raymond coming in. Pretty funny. I could tell he was just really tired after this point, so I knew that moving in front and back was working, so I decided to just keep doing it. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. After the match, Raymond asked me what my tips and advice would be for him to improve his game. I think I had two pieces of advice. The first would be to continue working on his backhand. You could probably see he was very comfortable with his forehand ripping it, but especially with the one-handed backhand, I felt like I could attack that a little bit more. So maybe even developing a deeper slice or better drive or kind of topspin there. The second piece of advice would be for his movement. I kind of talked about this in between the first and second sets, but he moves really well side to side covering a lot of ground. But um, if I got him moving forward or using kind of short angle angles, he was a lot less comfortable with that. So those were two things that I spotted. I know Raymond would probably appreciate it a lot if you guys are able to point out things that you saw differently. Um, if you guys agree or disagree, feel free to add in the comments below. Um, also would love feedback on the kind of new format I was trying out here. Feel free to leave feedback below. Um, thanks again for watching. And if you like the content, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. See you soon.